Hey guys, how's it going? It's AP Eric. Welcome to today's video. We got a special unboxing. I got a whole bunch of switch controllers from uh, Easy SMX. So what these are is these are specially created switch controllers that have like different designs on them, whatever. They sent me five. Sent me five different of these to check with you guys. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below so these plug right into your nintendo switch they're custom looking nice drawn they look well done they have some good artwork and stuff on them they have an adjustable dual shock and um all sorts of different things about them so we're gonna go ahead and open them up it looks like there's a series set of seven i got five of them so let's go ahead we're going to unbox and see which ones we got i'm pretty excited again special thanks to them for sending me these right here so let's go ahead and let's open them do it what which ones we got and what they look like they are nice and packed in there too by the way my goodness I'm trying to pull it out without ripping the box i like the box Ooh, there we go so inside it looks like we got our wire our usb cable and it looks like we have a manual a game controller user manual so before we even get into it, it says this belongs to switch pro wireless bluetooth controller with turbo and dual vibration function it's compatible with nintendo switch pc and android this gamepad can be used to play a variety of games such as arms mario kart 8 zelda and more it'll create an immersive game experience for you and enjoy your games so there's a turbo setting on here so now i think i might uh take advantage of that <laughs> and use it to level up on mortal Kombat. so here we go guys let's uh take a look at this one. Oh wow look at this it has like a uh a haunted house type of look to it that is actually really neat you can see the moon, some jack-o'-lantern, some bats, some scary trees, and a haunted house. Look how big these pads are that were on there protecting the analog stick so you won't get any Joy-Con drift on the way in. So look at that. That that this style looks almost like it was actually customed on. Then you could see you got your controller stuff like that. Um, pretty much on par with what the actual Switch Pro controller has. I mean, it doesn't look like it's too far off the official version. That's pretty nice. And then you have your label and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to unbox all of these first. Then we're going to actually try try it out. At least one of them. This one's cool. Nice little haunted house one. So now that's one out of the five. Let's go ahead and take a look at what else we got. Uh, so here's the next one. And uh, again, if you're interested in any of these, I will leave a link down below. And these boxes are tight. See, I, did, I didn't want to rip the end. And I did. I ripped it a little bit right there. That's not what I wanted to do. I like keeping my my boxes pristine, but man, did they really pack this in? Like, look at that. It's hard to pull it out. Good packing. Oh, look at this one. This one looks like some Partridge Family stuff, guys. Take a look. This one looks pretty cool. Look at that. This one looks like it was actually painted. Look at that. And then on the bottom, you can see the turbo function. I didn't even notice that. You see the T on the bottom right? I guess that's what unleashes the turbo function. So that's cool. You get a little T on the bottom. We got red triggers with this one. Red sync button. It's white. So they actually changed the analog controller buttons in the buttons and stuff. So nice. I can actually get behind that pretty neat all right now this one's gonna look try not to rip the box 
Anybody else get like that about their boxes where they just want to make them pristine and keep them neat and stuff like that? Is it just me? I think it might just be me. Comment down below if you're the same way. Okay, let's pull this sucker out. Come on. Jesus. <laughs> Okay, this one is stuck in there. That's not what she said or is it? <laughs> well this time I managed to get the whole box out so that's Oh my gosh There we go. Gosh Lee Tip to the uh, easy SMX don't pack your boxes so tight people want to keep the boxes Keep them. They want to keep them good. Look at this one. That one looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Looks like a uh, paint splattered all over a white canvas. Got the red button look again. So so far, pretty unique designs. They just don't look all like they they genuinely look custom made. I, I like the way they look. It's different. Uh, they're more artistic. They're more like like a painting on them and stuff, as opposed to having like a Pokemon or or a Mario or a Zelda design. It's really cool. It catches the eye. You think about it. Now here we go. We got a black and gold one. Let's see what this one's like. Oh, very interesting. Kind of reminds me of Pokemon, just a tiny tad bit. Look at this. This one's more glossy. This one is definitely more glossy, as opposed to uh, you know, like this one. This one that looks a little bit more matte. This one's glossier, shinier. Not that bad though. That one has an interesting look on it. I dig it. Now we got one more to open and take a look at. Boys and ghouls. Let's see what the last one is. Save the best for last or what do you think? What do you think guys? Did we save the best for last? So let's take a look at it. Ooh, this one looks neat. Take a look at this. That actually looks like like a like a fancy t-shirt design or a tattoo or something, right? I can get behind that. Pretty cool. So my favorite out of the five that I've gotten, and let's go ahead and kind of recap. You got these two. I like the Partridge Family thing a little bit. Um, that one's cool as well. Uh, then, you know, the one that we just opened. I, I think I gotta say I like the Haunted House one the most out of all of them. It's very, uh, it has its own character, Don Pizzazz. They're all very unique. Um, the Turbo Function is what I am most interested on, especially on shoot 'em ups but also like Mortal Kombat, you know, being in the crypt. <laughs> so, uh, let's go ahead. Um, I'm gonna try one of these out plug them in and, and let's see what it what it works like I think uh, I think it's gonna be interesting. So let's go right to gameplay All right guys, so we got it plugged in. We got it hooked up. We got it situated. We are going to test the controller with Mario Brothers 3 Now I will say it does have the input delay fill, but I think that's mostly because It's switch online. <laughs> I think uh, switch online has always felt a little delayed but I gotta say the controller itself has a nice weight to it. Feels pretty good. I like it. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels sturdy. Uh, the buttons feel nice as well. D-pad feels about the same as the actual Switch Pro controller itself. Um, you know, just gotta kind of wear them in just a little bit. Get it used to it. It is different. Um, was easy to set up. I mean, it, for the most part, it feels like. A normal um, yeah I was trying to test out the uh, the turbo right there and it seems like it does okay not not too out of memory so I mean the control seems the control seems like it's on par with the actual 
Switch Pro controller. Nothing too fancy smanchy about it. So decent alternative if you're looking for one, guys. So again, I will leave a link in the description for you should you be interested. Thanks a lot for watching.